Hello and welcome to Imperator Room. My name is Materius and welcome to Superior because we've grown quite a bit. We're not as large as Rome. Rome has expanded a lot and ooh, Big Tony has also expanded. So we are, oh, there's also some big unrest over here. So that's good. But we have got our first province and that's always good. That's always good. Uh, let's see if we can see it in the province. Yeah, that's the one I wanted to see. As you can see, we've got a little problem at the province. We got 40, 45. That's a lot. That's a lot of people. And uh, well, I encourage trade so I could get some more happiness in here. But we really need to. And we definitely need to fix the fort maintenance. Do I have that many forts? Fortification map mode. So I let this one stand here because well it it's got a great cover from the sea and i let this one stay but i don't need that one but that's not in my land is it no it's not so i should have like one two three four I count only four. Where's my fifth fortress? Because I should have five because of the fort maintenance. One, two, three, four. Yes, it's definitely is four, but how can I pay for five? That's quite annoying. We definitely need to get our money situation up and we're in a defensive war in the north. So I'm taking at the moment this area that I kind of want to make like a vessel. And I always accept. Somehow the Brennies has got themselves out of the government position again. Yeah, I guess so. That was kind of unfortunately. And is there anything we can do for an exchange law? Now I need to do something about the unrest. But, well, as you can see, we got like a lot of aggressive expansion. That's not good. That's definitely not good. But there isn't much I can do about it. we get more people want pottery well i don't mind that except i love the money flowing in ah I, as you can see the fort main is now tree that's a good thing i don't like you building up your troops that much that's definitely not a good thing and some more pottery we will accept it should bring us below the ducket. How can I have my first navy? Did you build up a navy? Or did we have a navy? Because I don't, don't want to have a navy. No, why are you in my... Forward. It's kind of strange. All right, but well, let's just finish this war. And I guess then we definitely have to end an alliance. And we really want to. All right, so we've got one war, one sheet, one. Aggressive expansion is dropping 
slowly. Once that's done, I can change the culture because that's kind of... It's all the same culture, so that's kind of strange. Let's take a look at our... Craftsman... Culture in the culture group. So, oh, we have like two different culture groups. That's the thing. That's kind of annoying. But oh well, no barbarians yet. There's no there, barbarians over here. After seeing our people slowly moving toward the tribal centers of our nation, magistrate uh, suggested certain measures. All right. Did we take... Did we win a war? Wait a second. Wait a second. What just happened? Oh great, I got that country. I didn't even, even ask for it. We're still at war. Pass the judgment. Is there anything? Anyone? Subs submissive? No. Hmm. Not good, not good. Hmm. Nine in oratory is kind of nice. But what are your jealous? That's not good. Righteous. You're dangerous. No. I've rest crucified. We are going to crucify every family. We've recently received an envoy sent by the tribal chief. Uh, she offers our rules. Personal friendship. Well, that I don't mind because that's you. I kind of find it strange that we're still not a regional power. Why are you... That's a good one to lower. I kind of want to destroy this fort as well because it will cost us money. And I really don't need it because I got my big country over there. All right, so who are we at war with now? Only one little country, so let's speed it up. And let's just wait. I really don't want this area now. Let's take a look at our land. So we got, we got a lot of freemen over here. This province. These, they are kind of happy. Hmm. I'm really waiting for the next patch because then we've got like a lot more options to do with building and make people happy that way. I guess the war is over. So let's send my 10k back to my capital. Let's see what we are going to find a nation to conquer. Yes, that's kind of what I was just about to say. We are still in all deposits. The signs of the star have been clear, according to our druids. Yes. I guess we could do that. Let's let's slow the game down a little bit and let's 
summon the war council should we really do that whole game that will cost us a lot of money but give me some popularity yeah let's call in the war council let's see what we're going to do after traveling for many days the proud members of our superior war council has gathered together in a name a city i cannot pronounce and well this is kind of loyalty game at the moment we stand with ready to armies uh, i kind of would like this is kind of annoying because i don't want to lose the depl their loyalty mm. All right, let's see in our inventions. We can do one more. And... I really want the one with a month more exhaustion because that is really going to help me. You have grown pretty big. And we still have too many diplomatic relationships, so I kind of want to kick you out. Stop having an alliance with you. Dissolve the alliance. Yes, we do. Alright, so with that out of the way, this is kind of scary. Having 23,000 merchants look at her and we're not even a regional power yet that's kind of amazing i guess it's because our low income and i kind of want to uh, change some stuff around making promote pops that way we can uh, Yeah, we're going to promote a few. That's going to cost us. And now we're going to promote you guys. You should notice I'm now at 90% research. And with promoting these guys, this is going to be one fun state. Seven. 33. Yes, this is what I want. I kind of... A lot of unrest because we promoted a lot at the same time. Maybe I shouldn't have done that that fast, but well, I guess the unrest will drop. But at least our research will definitely be good now. Stability is still good. Let's take a look at our economy. This is tribe. That's why my armies cost so much. That explains a lot. Alright, well, we'll have to fix that somehow. Let's speed up first and... Uh, Let's take a look at our next target. It's, it's probably going to be you. Ooh. You're in a defensive alliance with me, so that's not a good target. How about you? You have an alliance with that big guy over there. That's not good. How about you? You got like the truth, so I cannot attack you. That's kind of pity. Uh, who do we got left? I guess you, we are beating you. This guy. You got like an alliance with who? Wonder if they're going to help you. So this is a small block here in the bottom. And uh, you also have a defensive alliance with TS2. So declaring war would not... Ooh, I lost... Wait a second, I lost one. 
Hmm, interesting. But in this country also is interesting because I haven't laid my eyes on that one before. But you got a big friendship with the big guy behind you. Alright, so that's also not an option. We are running out of options. This is an interesting one because we can take him. Yeah. I do think we need to have a little bit of peace for a few few years to get my uh, aggressive. This is kind of annoying. So somebody takes money from my treasury and I cannot do anything about it. That's that's really annoying. So if you take money I want my map popularity, so is it going to be flogged? As you can see, the loyalty is dropping. The following provinces are no longer loyal. But that is slowly dropping, so we can definitely wait that out. But we are definitely going to have a money problem soon. So I guess I am going to do the thing I don't want to do. But it's the only thing I can do at the moment. Or well, we should go in war again, but I not quite sure if we're going to make that this episode because there are too few options to go to war with what's this offer an alliance who are you why would I want that you guys got an 9k so I guess we're kind of ready to do another war Send our troops and pay them full wages because that's the first thing you need to do when you go to war. Kind of war exhaustion is still high. This is really going to kick me in the butt in the long run, but there are no real decisions that can help me. No. This this work really really would help and we're pretty close to that because we got the bottom section if we go yeah it's like this country and then everything back here so if we do that one war where we go and go for this guy and take those three at well. Uh, but well, the aggressive war expansion. Can we do anything? 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 No, no, no. We cannot. And that's quite annoying. That's quite annoying. Hmm. All right, let's speed it up. Uh, we got another scandal. I can't use this scandal, you know. I really can't. My bodyguard got wounded. Hmm. I don't want to lose popularity because that's going to kick me in the wrong long run in the butt. And I need another travel bodyguard. It's kind of funny, you are a real old guy, but I kind of want to have you as a bodyguard. Because you are good, or I should take the female one. 
Let's take a look at that trait because he secured kindly content with life and tough. Modest founder. Blunt. No, you are going to be the one. Going to be all female. Well, I have, except for him because, well, I don't. Ooh, I have a better guy. We have a better girl for you. We got the 10 guy. Yes, that we're going to change some things around. All right. Can we do anything with all that oratory power we have? Have you guys got any suggestions what I should do with the oratory power? I really love 300 civic power is going to promote infrastructural spendings. That's also nice. Hmm, interesting things. Business investments. That that's something we could do. Local import route. Install reduces. Uh, no, no. Uh, advanced civic advance is greater than six. That's not the case. Can we change him as well? How can he be of a scorned family? All right, this is now the positions our countries and we kind of want to attack that area. Rome has gone pretty big. Loyalty is, I think, the biggest problem. <laughs> no, she's not beautiful anymore. And money is going to be a big problem. Although we almost got that. So we could we could be able to do something about that. About those guys. Freeman don't pay tax. Yeah, slaves. I need slaves. Base tax. I really need the tax at the moment. That's the biggest problem. Getting money in. And we're running our army low. So if you guys got any tips, tricks to get me more money without spending money, I would really like to know. And the aggressive expansion is... You guys are at war here? Ooh, somebody broke up in small countries. Interesting. I guess the next episode we are going to attack our neighbors to this area and then in the end going to finish off this and these allies and we need to find then some new allies as well. But the Greater Iberia is slowly coming and it's going to be called Superior. Thank you all for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you do give it a like. Press the subscribe button if you haven't already because it really helps out the channel. And leave your comments because I love reading your comments down below. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.